What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. <laughs> you went with uh, the the wired jaw scat. <laughs> I, I just said to myself, "Self, what oh. what if I s- scatted with my <laughs> with my teeth clenched? Yeah. What would happen? Because because we've had 270 shows without the teeth clenched. The best part, and I don't know if this makes it on the video or not." <laughs> is seeing Andy have the thought. Yeah. Start giggling to himself. <laughs> that was the best. I was going to try to keep a perfect smile during it. Like almost oh. a ventriloquist scat. Mm. Do, 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 do. But it wouldn't it, mm. it would have been way worse. <laughs> Welcome into the Spitballers. Would you rather that's a great question and a special battle royale draft for you today. Happy to have you with us. Thank you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family uh, and anybody you know that enjoys laughter and and happiness and joy and a distraction from anything heavy and uh, sad and loves education and learning yeah from wise really important life skills and historical facts from us. men with several honorary doctorates probably yeah many degrees like the deodorant right 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 <laughs> Uh, so we're going to kick it off. You can follow the show at spitballers pod over on Twitter slash X, and you can uh, leave us a review on Apple podcasts. We'd appreciate it. Follow the show wherever you're listening. Here we go. Would you rather, would you rather, oh no, have every sneeze stop right before it triggers? Oh, that's upsetting. Or every time you sneeze, you sneeze out a giant snot ball. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Wait, hold on. You saying you've never done that? I'm not saying I've never done that. I'm saying, how is this a question? I mean, if every t- well, okay, how a is non- this a question? I am easily. I am taking the snot ball. What? Oh yeah. Because a non-satisfied sneeze is is it, no relief at all. It's awful. I agree it that I would with prefer you. to just have a normal. If normal sneeze this was isn't the third the game option, of we would all choose that. But you're telling me that the uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 okay, it didn't it didn't happen? You know that never. is that is worse than <laughs> yeah, yes, way you worse. You never sneeze again. You'll never sneeze. That's good news. No, it's, helps no ex- it's not because you will still get the feeling that you have to sneeze and you will never, it will the expel. sneeze will never get out. You want to know what I won't have? A snot ball? A bunch of snot. I mean, you're, you're chewing. I'll, I'll you cover, cover I'll, your face. I'll bring a hanky with me. I don't need a hanky. I know, but you'll need you'll need therapy. I'll, I'll need and you'll counseling. Be, you'll be a weird guy because you'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, if this was, if the, <laughs> if the question. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Anyways, it was <laughs> <laughs> if the question was, you have the unfulfilled sneeze every hour on the hour, or every time that you do normally that- regularly sneeze. I was gonna say you don't sneeze that much. You have a big snot bubble. Then maybe there's a debate. But I don't sneeze that much. I don't want a snot bubble. Now you've been sick before, though, where you get like a lot of sneezes. Yes, and that would be tough. That would. Which one would be tough for Andy? And you'd want the snot out of you at that point. But which one would be tougher? If you're ha- if you got oh, you're yeah, sick that and many you got snot the balls? sneezes. Yeah, I feel when, like that's kind of how getting sick is. You have a bunch of snot rags everywhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm already covered in phlegm. Plus, it's, you're covered in phlegm. When I'm sick, yeah. To be you're fair, sick, you cover yourself in yeah, phlegm. I'm fully on Mike's side because I also yeah, think I would. That's ha- right, Jay. I I'm, think I would have a new world of like kind of like designer hankies that I would start buying, and they'd be a collection of hankies, and I bring yeah. them with me everywhere. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the middle of a gentlemen crazy sandwich. Used, gentlemen used to carry a hanky everywhere we went. Uh, that yeah, is true. Yeah, I still know a, a person or two that does that. Why? Yeah, what? And, well, you he knows people over the age of 75, right? Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, of okay. course. Because uh, people don't do that. Do you want to know wait, why who, people who don't who do that? Care, hold on. Who carries I, a hanky? I don't want to say. Yeah, yeah. No, you uh, don't need to put wait, them on you, blast. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. 
if if it's said, not me. I mean, I, I'm saying if said person carries a hanky with them, then talking about them should be no problem. They will turn. It's not I'm, as, they will turn 80 years old this week. Okay, exactly. And do you want to know why people stopped carrying a hanky with them? Why is that? Because they realize that when you snot into a, a, a handkerchief, it's disgusting. It and is you shouldn't real. do it around people. Yeah, but you can fold it. And then put it back in your pocket. Yeah. No. You've never you've never taken a Kleenex, wiped the nose a bit, and then put it back in your pocket? Not once that I can ever remember. Yeah, that is Yeah, I've done that. That's a bold faced lie. I can't remember ever saying here's my like post snot hanky. So you just waste trees. Sure. I'll burn, I'll burn down the forest. I'm I'm not putting my snot in my pocket. You two are psychopaths. And then you got to launder the snot rag. Oh, gross. It's Might not, as well put my poopy really, underwear in the washing machine. It's not as really gross. When my <laughs> wife and I got married and we decided to have kids, we had kind of like made a pact that she's like, you have to handle everything with snot because snot grosses her out. And then I, I'm like, well, then you have to handle everything with vomit because I like... Oh, that's I'm a, like a sympathetic vomit. Yeah, that's a good deal for you. Yeah. So we made I, that. I still pack. would agree. I'm anti snap but I still agree that's a pretty good deal <laughs> How for about, you. So if every time you sneeze, <laughs> you vomit? <laughs> you vomit out your nose or you snot. Oh, I'm sure Mike would love that one. He's all into these. The biggest handkerchief you've ever seen. No, I am just the. Just carry around a bucket with me, man. The getting into like your body starting the act of a sneeze and then it shutting down is to me is just so horrific i like every my whole face starts tingling and it's it's not give a, me your sneezes per week average like if, if you oh, could go I on the no on the watch you know you have the yeah. apple watch tracks stuff if it was telling you how many times you sneeze which by the way Maybe. you should be able to do that track i sneezes? don't know that it would be able to track sneezes yeah your body your whole body convulses with a sneeze you should be able to pick that up it's like i'm sorry were you sneezing <laughs> just ask you every time i i oh so john papa josh is with us well, he's old and disgusting. Papa Josh so. said four per day is the number that comes to mind. That seems high. I would say once a week. Yeah, that's it. Feels no. Feels in I don't, I don't sneeze more than once a week I'd unless say, I'm sick. I'd say, and maybe an average of once a day. Mike's a once once maybe. a day kind of guy. Al, if you average it out, I'd say about once a day. I don't yeah. do it every day, but when I do, it might be two or three sneezes in a row. Yeah, that you, is fair. Raise that, your hand if you're on allergy medication, though. I bet you that makes a difference. So, do Jason, do you get the uh, the multiples? I'm a double. You're, I'm a you're double two sneezer. Time? Two, two okay. sneeze every time. You're a three time? I'm a three oh. time. My son has a problem. Ooh. Okay. Unrelated to this. <laughs> Soup's related to this. Okay. My son has a problem, an issue okay. that is... That you want to talk about, uh, and we're here for you. We're, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I think he's okay with me putting this issue on blast because he knows about it. This is you can't hide it. He is insanely, upsettingly allergic to vehicles, to being inside of every time he. Now wait a minute. When he, when I take him to school in the morning, okay, he gets in the car. Sometimes we make it to school, no problem, great. But if sneeze one happens. It is 20 more sneezes, and he... Okay, that's impressive. And it just goes for so long where <laughs> the whole because, car, okay. the rest of everyone in the car is like, this is it's not his fault. He can't control this. Okay, it's getting a little... I have... Okay, Stop I'll it. Stop, don't you dare sneeze again. I got to follow up. Does this happen when he's in other people's vehicles? I, I really don't know. Are your vehicles I don't, in the sun? I don't usually. Well, I mean, we drive. We don't drive in the night. Well, I'm saying. Well, the sun <laughs> is a sneeze causer. Okay. I have. Yeah, I have heard We've got that. this corner at our church where every time we go around the corner, every time, right into the sun, my son sneezes on the spot. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe we, he needs to drive with an umbrella. <laughs> you know, just in the car. Or, or I'll give him a, like a eye mask. You ever oh, given you him sunglasses? Eyes? I have. I got okay. him really nice sunglasses help. once on a vacation. And he, it didn't stop the sneeze? He he lost them at the first. We went straight to lunch, left them there. Oh, wait, hold on. You bought a, a child nice sunglasses? We were on. What were you doing? We were on. That's yeah, pretty dumb. <laughs> okay, we were on vacation on a cruise. 
This yeah. is like we, we're we're on an island, a fancy island, they, and and a we, fancy <laughs> island. <laughs> we're on a fancy island. That was the part. Okay, well, that was just, the part. Just, we, we're more all... and more relatable, Jason. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> My point is, they, there was no other options of like yeah, you know only... buying some Circle K cheap sunglasses here, and we were at this place. He needed sunglasses. <laughs> he tried them on. They looked nice. They just happened to be. A little bit expensive, more than I would get my. Were these you know, Maui gyms? Y- yeah, I think so. Oh no! Yeah, Jason. Yeah, you bought a giant. <laughs> yeah. How did you know? I don't, I don't think I. Because Mau like because because uh, you were a mark because <laughs> like that's the the new fancy like oh it was when we were a kid it was Oakleys mm. now like older people especially like the Maui gyms. So it was the first time I've ever. Really seen him wear sunglasses, and they looked so good on him. We go to lunch Instantly immediately. Gone. Immediately go to lunch. That's the first place we went. <laughs> we left that lunch, and he's not used to having sunglasses. He left them there. Yeah, done. So I have not bought him another pair of sunglasses. Oh, and based on my googling, those are not cheap. Um, <laughs> well, uh, real quick question, by the way, if you if you have one episode I of was sneezing on a fancy island. <laughs> Just yes. we've all been there. <laughs> you you no. get it, or as I call it, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, if you if you were to if I had three sneezes consecutively, that doesn't count as one sneeze. That's three sneezes. Correct. I think that for yeah. for your average, that so that means if I sneeze, if I have an episode once a week, but it's three sneezes, then I average three a week. Yes, just all in one chunk. Mm-hmm. I have had. Have you had sneezing attacks? My son has. Because I've had the I've had like literally like ten minutes straight where I I, te- I sneeze. Yeah, for, yeah, I've, I've had for it ten happen. straight minutes, and you feel like you have been put through the laundry machine. Yes. At the end of it, you're yeah. just like you're tearing yeah, up. It's like a car crash. You're crying. What? What's that all about? Yes, yeah. yes, he was one of those. All right, so Mike and I were on the size of yeah. side of satisfying sneezes with snot rags. If if we tweet this question out, this this has to be ninety two. No way, man. I, I don't know where it will go. Right, well, let's I'm ask the deucers. I don't, I don't know where it will go. The deucers are every man. Would you rather be able to sneeze ever again, or do you want the snot ball? Or do you want the uh, no snot ball? That's tough. I think you got to take the snot ball. Yeah, okay. Oh, my okay. goodness. 90 10. All right, go ahead. I'm Pop taking it. the snot. Yeah. yeah. So, so I you didn't say right. which side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't say which side was 90 10. <laughs> All right, here's our next would you rather question. Would you rather have to respond with meh? Anytime somebody asks your opinion or have to shout your oh. answer at the top of your lungs. So, uh, Jason, what did you think of that movie you saw last night? Mm, uh, meh. It was okay. I think you get to stop with meh. I think you That's have to true. stop with yeah. meh. Just, meh. So your wife I, comes out. How do I look? Meh. 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 <laughs> or, Jason, what did you think of that movie last night? It was so good. Oh. Yeah, it's that's meh. A, that's a that lot. movie is yeah. meh. Hmm. Your outfit is meh. People I'll, will stop asking you questions, right, when they know that that's the only answer you give to stuff. Also, I mean, uh, obviously you, you have more tact and stuff, but sometimes you're going to have a negative answer. So you like, how how do I look right now? You look bad, <laughs> right? Because you have to yell it. <laughs> like it's not a just only positive answers right. you have to shout. That's a good point. I mean, anywhere sir, you, you th- looked better, sir. Do you think you should have been speeding? No, I definitely should not have been speeding. Any anyone anyone yelling is just that's too much. The yeah. only place to yell is at a sporting event. YouTube, or yes, or if you're just recording a YouTube video, then you have to yell everything you say. Um, how how do how do people not watch YouTubers <laughs> yell and just see right through it? I don't understand how people can watch these and be like totally sucked in. They're so excited about this average ordinary not that special thing they're doing well jay they added they added a new block in minecraft <laughs> oh my see? god it's the greatest thing that's ever happened it's like and it works that's the most upsetting part is it works these kids are like sucked right in yeah yeah anyway, but so i think we're all with the meh yeah okay meh. yeah would you rather would you rather have meh. to spoil the plot oh to every movie oh what a monster or insult every person's musical tastes these are both terrible oh man i feel like i can insult people's musical tastes both with tact and without tact depending on the person 
You know, if I'm friends with them, I don't mind insulting their taste. I don't mind insulting my friends. That is that really that big a deal? Now we can just have a debate and I can tell you why you're stupid. Insulting versus disagreeing are different. Like I feel like okay, most that's of the, fair. I think most of the time people I don't think many people agree with my musical tastes, but it's like they're not like telling me why mine are bad. They're just like, oh no, I like you know I like uh, this type of music. Do you do you like country? I'm fine with it. You are such a stupid <laughs> idiot. See, <laughs> now that I've heard, I was fine. That, with that. one I've heard <laughs> with that, with country. Yeah, that, country that felt, you expect. That felt fine. <laughs> uh, and the but alternative was what? If I'm spoil movies. Oh god, how can you do that? How can I mean? To me, if someone insults my taste, insults, I, I don't think I care. Maybe I do. Maybe it will hurt a little bit more than I think when I am personally insulted for my Well, who opinions. do you respect? Who do I respect? Because you wouldn't care unless it was someone you respected my, telling you that. I respect my father. Okay. So if your father said... Wouldn't give two farts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when someone... You probably you, don't respect his music taste. You can, so. No, no, yeah. I don't. You it, can, so you I can respect get, Mike's music taste. You can get defensive, or you can just be like, "This is a different stroke." Yeah, you're dumb. You're dumb for saying that I'm dumb. Yeah, I think I have to take the music one. I'm not spoiling plots for people. I'm not an. I'll, uh, that person should go to jail. Yeah, yes. I mean, and there's no way to come back from it. Let's say you're the receiver of either one of these. Uh, instead yeah. of what oh, there's you're, no one doing it. Instead of what you're going to do wrong to someone else. Which one would you rather have done wrong to me? Insult my musical taste. That's fine. I, I, I just think when you insult my tastes, all I learned is that your tastes are bad. We, let me tell you a story about having something spoiled. We had a uh, we had a text chain, uh, Bree, myself, my wife, Bree and myself and two friends. And we all watched Survivor together. Oh, okay. And the text chain was like, you know, another, no, the, so another, the, the people you watch with. Yeah. They know how to text. They have handkerchiefs. Yeah. yeah they so we we watched the show together. Thank and, you, Jason. And the best part was that some they sent a message to us and it was the episode had gone that week. And the episode I mean, if you want to know Survivor, it's very straightforward. It's like the show happens for an hour and one person gets voted off. And guess what? If you know who that person is gonna be, it kind of ruins the previous hour, right? Yeah. Of course. And they said, Hey, have you watched it this week? And I said, No, we haven't. <laughs> and the very next thing oh, they my said no. was can you believe when blank is gone? Because they misread yeah. it. Oh. And then what I did is I had my phone out and I watched the text delete itself. <laughs> but I had already read it. Oh no. At least they at least they tried. They did. They tried so hard and I and they felt okay. so bad about That's it. That's fine. They felt bad. But about it was so funny because I had the text open and I'm reading it and I'm going, oh no. And then it just disappears. But now like you remember that forever. Yes. Oh, I can such a hard time. Is labeled that. And, like, there was a – we're also in the football world. And I don't know if you, you guys remember this. I do. Uh, Avengers Endgame comes out. <gasps> was that spoiled? No. And there was a pretty popular running back at that time. Oh, His that's His name right. was LaShawn McCoy. Yeah. He tweeted the spoiler for the movie, and it had just wow. come out. And it was – Is he in prison? I Like, I mean, it – it changed my opinion of him forever. Yeah. Of like, it's dude, so selfish. Especially, I mean that that movie was a decade in the making for for us comic mm -hmm. book nerds. Like yeah. this, this was now going to be the pinnacle of cinema that you've you've been dreaming about this forever. Real talk, and to have it spoiled. Would just you for, rather? For no would you rather have had him steal your wallet from your pocket and leave? Yes. Than tell you the spoiler yes. of that movie. One hundred percent. So I mean, this is like, because you can't unhear something. There's no fixing it. Yeah, right? it's done. Well, you can get a new credit card. One once you have, it's it, like, and to be the person who just puts that out there to ruin people's day. Yeah, and like, it's such a weird thing. I mean, accidents happen. I like your your friend. I get it. Yeah, that was I an would, accident. I would remember that forever and be like, hey, remember when you spoiled oh, the show yeah. for me? Yeah. I remember. I mean, it's 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 a red letter on you. Way back in the day, there was once and upon a time. Give yes, gave him the S for the spoiler. S, yeah. Once upon a time, the Harry Potter books were not all out yet, and people waited in line after years when a new book came oh out. Oh my goodness! 
and one yeah, of these books. Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm okay to spoil I mean, Harry Potter at this point, I, right? I don't know. There might be know. kids out there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right, okay. I won't, Some, I won't, a big character a dies. A big character dies in okay. one of yep. the books. Okay, and it was a monstrous moment. Yeah, mm. and there was a a, a, a a minivan. I remember watching this video. A minivan. The, I don't even know how they – they must have been, like, first in line and looked to the end. I don't know how they knew it. So they ruined it for themselves. They, the line of people to get the book that they have been waiting on for years was stretching outside the Barnes & Noble, and this minivan rolls down the window, peels out like a hot rod, and was like, <laughs> this guy dies! Straight to jail. Straight, straight to, to jail. Straight to jail. <laughs> straight to jail. <laughs> right to jail. <laughs> Me, Forever. It's, Life in prison. You're it, you're such a horrible person. What? I a think it's turd. one of the worst things you could do. What a turd. Yeah. The, what what are you even getting from it, that? You get nothing. You, you get, get talked you, about on this show. You you, you that drive van, off. No, we just get That pumped. van is legendary. Nah. Uh do we have time for another one or should we move on? Let's move on. All right. Hey, Spitwads, the big game is right around the corner, and Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to turn every game changing moment into 100 times your money. With as little as four correct picks, you can turn 10 bucks into $1,000. And look, if Patrick Mahomes throws for more than one yard in the big game, you win on Prize Picks. We all love Prize Picks, we all play on Prize Picks. It's a great experience. They're always improving the app and the opportunities for you to go in there and have a little extra fun with every single game that you watch and um, you can, you know, they, they even offer injury insurance uh, so that your entries stay in play. Even if one of your players gets injured for football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player projection won't count against you. And the rest of your entry stays live. Prize picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Just one of the many reasons we absolutely love playing on prize picks and have done it all year long. And uh, you can go to prizepicks.com slash spitballers right now. Go to prizepicks.com slash spitballers and use the code spitballers. So go to prizepicks.com slash spitballers and use code spitballers for a first deposit match up to $100. <laughs> That's a great question. Hugo from the website writes in. I'm going to have to stop you right there. For okay. Hugo? I have an update on the poll. Oh, oh wait. Did, did you, you post the oh, poll? Oh, of course I posted this poll because it's ridiculous so, that okay. anyone would choose a giant snot ball. I want you to read the wording. Okay. I will read the wording, which was copy-pasted from our doc. Okay, that's fine. Would you rather have every sneeze stop right before it triggers or every time you sneeze you sneeze a giant snot ball. Okay. My choices were stopped sneeze or giant snot ball. Okay. Now, I did put the giant in there, but it was in the question. Fair. Try, I did try That's to fine. weigh it a little bit more yeah. towards me. It is... It is... It is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is currently, with 500 votes in... 48 to 52 percent okay okay choosing the snot yeah. ball all right the, you, you lunatic disgusting people are in the lead oh Just i'm gonna be selling some handkerchiefs to <laughs> oh a lot of people good. who would what monsters are out there choosing that you got a snot phobia 220 votes in it was 55 45 in favor of the stopped sneeze and i was just waiting to see it grow um. and grow and then it <laughs> flipped and the monsters are winning. Yeah, I was going to say, you're welcome hey. to the new world. All right, that's a great question. Hugo writes in, says, how long do you think you could survive a zombie apocalypse? Now, I, I will say this. I The zombie apocalypse <sighs> concept, very popular, lots of shows, lots of, mov lots of movies, lots of thoughts about yourself, right? We all, we all think we won't be the one eaten first. We all believe in different things. Now, Mike opened my eyes when he was over. A few weeks ago. Okay. Gave you some of my strats. You gave me some of your strats. Yeah. So now I feel like I'm more knowledgeable. I I've, okay. I mean, I feel like the first well, half of this question is runners or walkers. De I was going to stop us and make sure we were on walkers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Run runners I never consider for these kind of questions. Okay, good. Because they're outlier 
movies. Yeah, they're outlier zombies. And, and you're all dead. And the answer is no one. Right. No one survives. How long did you last? One minute. One minute. They, that's it. Yeah, they're right. really okay. fast. Because all they have to do is get any bite anywhere, and then you're screwed. Yeah. All they have to do is make me run for 25 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so walkers. <laughs> and then okay. I just lay down. Do they, just sidebar, sidebar, <laughs> do runner zombies have cardiovascular health or not health? They're infinite stamina. Yeah. So it doesn't matter even if they're like a really big zombie. Well, they're, they're with bad cardio. They're gonna, in well, real life. Their top, their top speed may be slower, but these things could still sprint I've infinitely. Never, I've never seen a zombie, right? That's like a big chunker. <laughs> <laughs> so now yes, you're saying you never seen have, a bad zombie. If you watch zombie not, shows, no. you see it sh- all shapes I'm just, and sizes. I'm just thinking, like, in, I, and again, this is this is you're not gonna like this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but in a world where zombies take over, right? Some of the most vulnerable would be potentially the handicapped. Sure. Mm. So you would have some people in wheelchairs. Yeah. I personally have never seen a wheelchair zombie go through the transformation okay, and fair. still be stuck in the wheelchair. Yeah, that's, and and it, yeah, I think it's because they, they would they would crawl. Oh, because oh, they get out. They yeah, would crawl. Right. They would get out and crawl. And I've There's seen no crawling. way they've got the intellect to use the wheels. No. Oh they're my zombie. gosh. See, Mike, but they're brainless. I, I'm going to tell See, you this. Mike has his, I Mike, love zombies. Mike knows everything about zombies in the world, including secret tips to defeat them. The, uh, I believe in zombie land, they did discuss, I mean, they talked about cardio. Maybe they didn't. I thought like someone was like, you know, the evil, like you trip your friends type of stuff. But yeah, so, I, I love zombie movies. And, and what Andy's talking about is this was brought to light to me from, uh, the World War Z book. Okay. Uh, Max Brooks. They never talked, thought of this until they you talked it. about you go where you go where it's cold because and like real cold. Really? Because yeah, like, at least during winter, the zombies will freeze. And they uh, will be physically un- they they will thaw they and can't then move. come out there, but there will be a time period where you are actually safe from zombies. And you get to utilize that time period yeah, you can to go set up. In. You know, whatever fence structure. Sure. Well, can you go? Wouldn't you go eliminate all the frozen zombies too? You would probably try to find some of them, at I least mean, the close I ones. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be confident enough that they're frozen. I guess that'd be a little. Scary. And you might want to just use all your energy for, for. Building so I, a I didn't. I never thought about going up north. That's. I mean, that, that, that would have been survive my, in the north though. That would have been my first yeah, thought. It's, yeah, it's not easy. I, I didn't think about specifically the yeah, cold. Yeah, you just like, die from the cold. <laughs> cabin in the woods, <laughs> which less, is better, less populated. I would immediately drive north to to some cabin in the woods. That you know. Yeah, you got to at least be up a mountain. Yeah, and hmm. up there, can I've, they climb? I've got a little bit of an arsenal, so I feel like I could at least talk about your elephant gun. <laughs> yeah, so talking about my my, it's a bear gun. Thank you very <laughs> much. It's, it's, it's an elephant gun. Well, it could take down an elephant, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty confident it could take care of a zombie too. Let me just, guess, you were stuck on a fancy island and you had to get well, something. Just in case he comes across like a 7,000 pound bear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You I'm got, good. You got to be ready. Yeah. I just, my shoulder will be done, <laughs> but the me and the bear How will- How did he die? The bear got to him? No. No. no his shoulder was, ripped off his body. He was blown into the back <laughs> through the wall. <laughs> but, uh, you know, really, and Mike's even brought this up before, but I don't think on this show, but- if you're good enough to get somewhere and protect yourself from walkers right off the bat, which I believe the three of us are intelligent enough to do that, I think I think we'll we'll make it through the first like beginning part. Yeah, through exactly. There's gonna there's gonna be like this this initial uh, climax of problem, and then those who overcame that you will think be we're living in there? a new normal. So I think I think we're getting is that there. Three months, six. I months? think it's one month. Okay. I, I think it'll happen. How many quicker. seasons do you survive after that? That's when the real problem is, which is the people. Yes. You're no longer fighting zombies. You've learned how to live and overcome those monsters. The 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 people who live in a zombie apocalypse are who you gotta be real. Are you real looking for the about. remote area or are you looking for the abandoned suburban, you know, uh housing neighborhood? I mean, I'm I'm definitely going remote. Because you're going to get supplies in the the ladder. If I can't go to the fancy island, he's going to get all the way to this remote place, but then he's like, "Oh crap, I don't have anything to eat." So the, I, I think your best bet is if you can really truly lock down a store. You know what I mean? If you can find a way to oh, lock yeah. down a Costco. Okay, so you're you're going Day of the Dead, where they Day of the Dead is they 
They locked down the shopping mall. Yeah, yeah there you go. That, I or mean, the least, shopping mall seems like, really hard to lock down group. versus a Costco. Yeah. A Costco is a dollar, a dollar store. <laughs> a dollar store. I'm just thinking of what you – it's a lot of ground to cover in a Costco. There's no way you'd feel – like you had all the entrances covered. But there's not that many entrances and exits, like like a mall. Dude, a people can get got... in there, man. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm that not would... saying it's going to be easy. A Costco, zombie apocalypse you could live there forever. Yeah, if you had a to. long time. I mean, obviously the the frozen food's going to. Yeah, as fall. long as you have power. Yeah, yeah you have all the canned goods. And... We won't have power for long. Good point. Two years. Two years. Two that's years. Your final answer. That's a confident Two man. Two years. That is. Oof. Is that too much? No, I don't think so. I Two years. In you. Two years. I'm trying to think. I'm if not I can saying beat I'm going to survive. Just a couple of years. <laughs> uh, maybe a week. You're in a week, dude. You, can, yeah. By self-inflicted. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go a year. I think I can make it one. One. Well, now cycle. I'm feeling overconfident. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Mike's. Well, can, you're you're not factoring in your that, knowledge should be able to get you further than a week. It's not about you're not factoring in that you have three children. Oh, th- I didn't I'm say leaving, they'd survive. I'm leaving them immediately. When okay. I said I'm driving okay. north, if I did not on, say we are driving north. If it's north. on the table that I've got to go to the store to get milk, <laughs> and I never return. <laughs> I assumed we were alone in this situation. Oh, I did, I did too. Okay. If it's me and my family, a okay. week. <laughs> so that's where I was like, yeah. yeah, maybe a week? Okay, but if it's, it's just us just on me? our own, yeah. That's where I went with two years. If it's just me, I'm, yeah, maybe. It's like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do okay. All right. Kinsley from the website. Another great question. Are animal crackers a sweet cracker? Or a- I'm going to have to stop you right there, Andy. <laughs> oh, okay. We All have right. an update on the poll. It has <laughs> flipped 52.5% to 47.5%. Stopped. Sneeze. We're up to 1,084 votes. Okay. But you're on your side. Yeah, well, is my on- side is winning. Okay. Thank you, people. Thank you for having. I just want a slight majority. Who no, you wanted who ninety ten. I want. I mean, I'm willing to. Uh, I'm willing to just uh, take a W. Okay, <laughs> I don't need a landslide. Well, just uh, keep us posted. I I certainly will. All right, continuing. Kinsley from the website: Are animal crackers a sweet cracker or a bland cookie? Oh, my gosh. my initial reaction is the latter. The bland cookie. The bland cookie. Because I don't. If I I don't think of. It's funny because they're called animal crackers. Yeah, they're not crackers. They're not crackers. They were always a treat. Well, well, they're only a treat when they're covered in frosting. But those are called those are different. different. Yeah, they what are. are those? Yeah, those animal circus animals. Circus, like yeah. Animal crackers oh. are the ones. Oh where wait, maybe I'm box, not understanding it. The box looks like a circus. Okay, no, that is the one I was thinking. And then they're they're not. They're frosted. the red box, and it's a rectangle, right? Yes. Oh, mother's circus animals. <laughs> those are those, those are, those are different. The, those are the pink and white ones. Those, right? those yeah. are called sweet cookies. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are awesome. But uh, I mean, you could say they're different, but they're they are the exact same thing dipped in delicious frosting and sprinkles. Like the inside okay, but, but, is but, the animal cracker. But just pretend for a second you're not eating one of those. Okay. And you're eating one of the animal crackers that came in the box that looks like a circus. I'm so sad. And they would be given to you in the back of the car when you were a kid. Um, yeah, I'm sad. And they're really not good. They're not good. They're the thing. Like it's better than not having something. They were okay. Yeah, Ish. Uh, th- yeah. <laughs> I mean, but but a cracker. When's the last time you had an animal cracker? The mother circus animals. Yeah, that's not a cracker. I'm just saying. I'm. You're th- drinking frosting. I love those things. I could eat those. Okay, forever. no, no. So the, the the plain ones. The plain ones. I don't think I've had one since I was a kid. I have self respect, and I'm a grown up. I can I can choose Whoa. what I eat now. Well, Papa Josh is coming in hot. Animal crackers are a great. Well, of snack. course, handkerchief Joe. Yeah, but when you were eating animal crackers, Papa Josh, there were no other treats. They do feel like the, uh, what like the bit of honey timeline. Like remember, bit, <laughs> oh yeah, they come from this. I finally found the picture, and obviously on the podcast you can't see it, but they're like the little containers. Oh, that's the not animal. the box I know. Now I gotta find my. That's box. That's kind of the current box, but I know they got a handle. The box has a handle. Um, they are a bland cookie. My final answer. What's the difference? What's a cracker and a cookie? Oh, Jason found the box. Thank yeah, goodness. It, the I difference think it might is. Be, go ahead. Oh, it, it is a different box. I, yeah, I found the box that that is the one you you remember. And now everybody listening at home knows I found you the picture, <laughs> the photograph that you were looking for. So, to me, it's a bland cookie because I still looked at it like a treat. 
Because you know what? I couldn't have one of these boxes every day in the afternoon. You and I could have crackers every day. You have to put, if you can't put something savory on top, it's not a cracker. Yes. So you're saying you don't put cheese on these. You can't put no. You can't don't put, put cheese on these because even though there's like nowhere a piece near of pepperoni a, on there. No, 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 no. too there, sweet. There's not enough sugar in it, but there still is sugar. In it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like um, uh, kettle corn. That level of sugar. Kettle corn has a ton of sugar. Yeah. No, I mean no, 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 no. I'm not talking about caramel corn. I'm talking about like kettle corn. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's like straight up sugar. Some, some kettle corn <laughs> is very subtle in the taste. Hmm. Not the kind you buy. I would never, never assume I, you would buy a subtle. To be fair, when I have kettle corn, I I usually have, I have the powder, the kettle corn powder. Yeah, that's that's. Not and so I then mean. I'm just yeah. dumping it on, layering it. Yeah, if you, I like your answer. I think the answer is if you can't put something savory on it, it ain't a cracker. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm seeing. <clears throat> the the photo that you found, Jason. Actually, it's called the Fisher Price, but it's a game. But it is, it's the exact same box, except the animals are not caged. <laughs> Was the caging of the animals? You used to cage them. Too intense for the Fisher Price game? Seems like. Too it. cruel? Yeah, the old school ones, we really caged them up, and that's what made them taste so good. <laughs> Domesticated animals always taste better, right? It's like lion, polar bear. Wild dog tastes terrible. Just saying. Oh. That's a good point. All right. Ooh, I ate horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big announcement. Oh, that's a big announcement because it is illegal oh, in the United oh, States of America. <laughs> okay, well, let's now share your story, Jason. Yeah, yeah. I did some international traveling, and I went to Colombia, and I was at this restaurant, and I'm got, I've got the Google Translate out on the phone <laughs> so I can read the menu. No one had a better. I mean, you were just, you were just waiting. It was like you were quick drawing your gun, man. You've been waiting to scream into a microphone that you you I, ate some horse. Look, I I forgot about it until we're talking about eating these caged animals, and I, <laughs> and I remembered like, oh yeah, I fulfilled a lifelong dream of eating a horse. I didn't eat you, a whole horse, <laughs> but say, I ate. Did you eat the whole horse? But I'm looking through, and and the phone is translating, and I'm like, wait a minute, what? And You're eating the like, menu in Colombia. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating a menu in no, Colombia. No, you reading, oh, reading the menu. <laughs> yes. How hungry do you think I was? Hungry enough to eat a horse? I ate a menu. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. And I did. Yeah, you. <laughs> this goes back a good 20 years now where Jason, he knew that if yeah, he ever need, had the opportunity to eat a horse, he would, and he well, would talk the, about it. The backstory. The, the backstory at our former company a long time ago now, this is like 20 years ago. I was this just, would have been... The, this is how you start the conversation. Yes. Well, no, I, I think people wanted to jump right to the eating horse part. But um, a long time ago, I was a, I was a giant UFC fan. I was like, you know, doing jujitsu, and and there was this, there was this athlete, Alistair Overeem, who went from this scrawny little dude to this like beefed up, gigantic, steroid filled monster. And everyone was like, oh, so what kind of roids are you doing? And he's like, no, 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 I promise it's clean. I changed my diet. And I only eat horse meat now, and so I was like, I gotta, I gotta get me some horse meat. That's that's it. That's it. Twenty that's, years later, and but I found you out like, you're like a kid watching Popeye. Exactly, uh -huh. and it's like, whoa, I gotta open a can of spinach. <laughs> but the problem is, spinach is legal in the United States. <laughs> horse meat is not. Now they didn't take you out back and let you pick the horse. No, right? no, no, no. Okay. Thankfully, uh, not this like was already done. Not like lobsters. <laughs> um, so, oh no! Uh, but uh, internationally, <laughs> some countries no. eat horse, and uh, Colombia they'll eat horse. Uh, <laughs> verdict is in. Not, not good. <laughs> no, <laughs> not man. good. It is super fatty, super tough. Flavors good. Tastes like a horse. Tastes like a horse. But <laughs> I can say now. I was hungry well, enough to eat a horse. You can also shout it. Yeah, that's right. I I ate oh, a horse. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Well, you did it. Now the people know. Poll uh, is up to fourteen hundred votes. Stops sneeze is still in the lead. By hey, how much percentage? Uh, Fifty-two for forty. Okay, but very close. Yeah, too close for comfort. Would you rather have every sneeze stomp right before? Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Do we have time for one more, or do we want to draft? We can do one more. All right, Anne from Patreon says, are clothes dirty if they aren't stained or smell bad? Oh, man. 
This is a great question. That's a great question. Because this is that. Let's say our answer simultaneously. By the way, once you think about it for a second. Stained or don't smell bad. If they're not stained and they don't smell bad, can, can we add one more? Yeah, because I would. Caveat this is to a maybe. This. This it's a maybe. maybe. So to me, I've got to. I've got to include and aren't wrinkled. Because to me, like that is. You know, when, okay. when when you put a shirt on the ground or right. in a laundry hamper uh -huh. and it becomes wrinkled, to me that makes it dirt. Okay. So, it, but uh, it's, but they come out of the dryer wrinkled sometimes. 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 Sometimes they shouldn't. You there's, know, that's there's a pretty distinct floor wrinkle. Do you guys have wrinkle solutions, by the way? Oh yeah. How do you make like all of our pants come out wrinkled all the time? Yeah, you get a little. Uh, we use a downy spray, not a sponsor. Good product. <laughs> <laughs> Just down. You want to sponsor the horse eater? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these clothes have been on a horse eater. Um, but you, there's like a wrinkle spray. So you just spray it a little bit, hang it up, Man. shake it out a little, and you're good. It by works. The time. Oh, yeah. Works very it's well. Pretty chemical intense. Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. Got a lot of growth. Uh, that spray <laughs> is not. Hey, you want to <laughs> <laughs> Show me the uh, – link me that because Josh is saying that's great too. Okay. All right, but um, are, are clothes dirty if they aren't stained or smell bad or wrinkled? One, two, three. No. no. Yeah. I mean, what what makes them dirty? That's Good work. Uh, dirty to me is I'm not going to wear it. So would I wear a pair of – would I wear a shirt that isn't stained, mm -hmm. that doesn't smell? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would. I would. I would. I was thinking there's one other quality I of a do, shirt. And I do, let's, let's add it there in. There is one other quality to a shirt. Have you ever had a shirt that's too soft? No. Too soft? Too Some, soft. Because Did, it's like warm. You, Mike, you ever had a shirt felt too nice? Felt too good on you, the body? You ever slept on a bed that was too comfy? <laughs> those show, those <laughs> Too soft? Well, I, I guess like? the You ever ate food too <laughs> delicious? That's a big problem. It's too good. What do you too, mean too soft? Too soft. Don't ask me what I meant and then go into another bit. But genuinely, how could clothes be too soft? What does I, that mean? What I mean. Do you want the answer? It feels so I knew good. you didn't want the answer. It just doesn't make sense. I, I'm feeling this. Do you feel how soft it is? Put that in the washer a couple times. Ruin that. Ruin gotta that rough cloth. this up. <laughs> you got a Brillo pad? Just. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm I gonna don't believe you're done. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up. Uh, what is clothes that are too soft? Have you ever had a shirt that you've worn too many times t for too long, and it just it's just before too... washing it? J no, just in general. Okay, just just like an old ratty shirt. Right. Okay. You're saying it's close to the end of its life yes, cycle. Yes. Those shirts sometimes I'm using that. I too soft was apparently the wrong way to describe they're it. They're like getting too thin. Yes, okay. because okay. that's what I meant by soft. Yeah. Is like they're so thin. It's a different word. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, a totally different. I, we're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done. Okay, so it's not garbage. Let's add, let's add that in. People <laughs> wash their clothes too much. Okay. I'm gonna say that, that they wash them too true. often. I will say this: one of the things that I find underwear every time. Yes, hundred percent. Yes. Socks every time. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll wear um, a pair of socks twice if if I didn't. If need be. Yeah. Um, but what's funny total about love. like that's you slept total in them, uses of the socks. Slept in them, you don't want to change your socks. Well, just, I'm ready yes, to go. Although that's asleep because you didn't take them off your feet. Yeah, there's, there's still st one use. <laughs> exactly. It <laughs> doesn't matter if it spans the <laughs> day. Still in the they're still the first use. <laughs> that's what I was going to bring up about. And technically, dirty clothes. that would work with underwear too. D that's what I was going to bring up with dirty clothes, though. Is like, you know, <laughs> if I come home after work and I'm going out to, you know. A, a nice dinner and so now i've got fancy a dinner yeah sure fa fancy boy over here going out to a nice steak horse dinner and um and i gotta like wear i gotta change my shirt gotta put a collared shirt on or something when i get home i feel like that shirt's dirty like i need to take it off i put it in the dirty clothes but i'm like i only wore it a couple hours if i had worn this when i woke up it was totally fine to wear it for right 10 12 14 more hours okay. and it's not dirty until i take it off but I wear it for two hours, and I feel like I've got to wash this now. As long as it, you didn't get like sweaty, sure. At the restaurant, then it's fine. Hang yeah. it back up. I just think we're not really even with our with our hours per wash of clothes. Well, it's hours per wash, and also just you know the area of your body. There's no clothes that don't touch some bad area of the body, right? Uh I mean, I guess, I guess we're insulated. The pits are a little insulated yeah. with the deodorant, and I mean, and sometimes you have a good pit day. Sometimes you have a yeah. Bad one. What's with that? Yeah, sometimes what? you got a bad butt day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I mean, 
Well, there's never really a good butt day. Uh, but there's bad butt days. Well, yes, there are, there's worse. So then there are good butt days. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's if fair. it's not a bad butt day, it's a good butt day. <laughs> that's 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 truth. <laughs> so far today, guys, I think I'm having a good butt day. All right, you guys want to draft? Uh, Mike can check on them whether you are or not. Um, yeah, we'll draft. The Spitballers Draft. Well, 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 here we are in our infamous Coliseum. Yeah. We're ready to have a battle. And we are drafting historical figures to add to our roster to enter that arena to battle one another, historical figures from the annals of time. Yes, and there is a clear one on one. Well, we'll see if there is. I mean, there there are uh there's there was a clear one on one for me. Uh um, wait, hold on. The the both of you have a clear one oh one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And if what? If he makes it to there's, me, I'll be very There's happy. just no way it's the same. There's no way that our clear one oh ones are the same because because he's taking. I went ben to class. Franklin. I went to class, <laughs> and this—I don't know if you—I don't remember if you did. All right. Um, I didn't. But to me, this is the clear one on one. Never lost a battle. Uh, undefeated. Oh, historically, not, not my guy. <laughs> no, I know. Historically, tactical genius. What the greatest fighter by known to many of all time conquered most of the world. I'm taking Alexander the Great. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I'm he's, taking okay. Alexander the Great as number one. Third on my list. I think it's a very good okay. pick. Okay. Yeah, and and it, I like the record because you know he's not gonna blow that hot streak in this battle with you guys. No, but the pressure's on. You that's know what fair. I mean? Like now he's got one more battle. Yeah, that's what they said about Jordan. And he lost sometimes. <laughs> not in the finals. Okay. And he, w- is that true? He was. Did he never lose in the finals? Are you kidding? Yeah, me? He was six and zero. Okay, good. Good. Welcome for him. to the nineties. <laughs> it's been a minute. But he didn't always make Dude, the finals. Dude, this horse meat is not serving you well. Uh, Alexander the Great. Uh, Russian? Where's no, he? Where's he from? A Greek. Yeah. Oh, it's a Greek. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, I'm way off. Uh, you're thinking of Stalin? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, Which is avail- he's available, by the way. Yeah, I'm not taking him. <laughs> I don't know if he can fight or not. Um, I will say I'm I'm going similar to you, Andy. Mm. Someone who I, I have no idea, Jay. If I know who you're taking. Maybe. You do? Well, I write think, it down. I think, I, okay. Write it down. Uh, I'm looking it up. And at at his peak, his people controlled between eleven and twelve million contiguous Ooh, square changing, miles. Changing my answer about the area, uh, about the size of Africa. I'm taking Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. where th- that's the one on one. No, no, no. Oh, that's just who no. you thought. That's, oh, a, great, that, that's a great. That's pick. my number two pick. Okay, that's yeah, a great pick. I yeah, just yeah. when when you when you were going the same the same route, I thought there was a different guy. Like Alexander fact, the Good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, so but, I'll, I'll but end Genghis, up drafting. Yeah, Genghis Khan, infamous fighter. Somehow, like, I mean, I, his tactics Strategist. are, are uh, highly questionable. And there's, yeah. like, some weird... Yeah, he, I mean, he's a horrible person. There's weird... Yeah. But they all were, man. When yeah. I was doing... Yeah, research, you, can't, you can't take over half the world and be a good dude. It's just amazing the quantity of these individuals that existed. When I started looking up historic... Like, we know who Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan was. But there's another list of about a thousand men yeah. who conquered people in bad ways. Yeah. yeah. And 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 amazingly successful. Yes. No, I've never heard of them until yeah. like researching yeah, you for just, this. Oh, he only killed a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I'm taking someone, my one on one. Okay. The one on one of my heart. The one on one that I thought Andy would take. Oh, I knew who it is. Yeah, baby. Uh, because I'm fighting for freedom. He's taking oh. William Wallace. Oh, that's right, lads. Get in the. I mean, come on. You, you guys are leading armies, but get in the fight next to me. And I'm William Wallace. I'm t- I'm ripping throats because <laughs> I don't have my broadsword. I guess we're all going in here just brass yeah, and bare knuckles. Be weapons. Yeah, all you right. can bring in what you got. All uh, right. Well, of well, course, but- nobody like uh, Jason who you know. Braveheart Bra- lover. Braveheart's my favorite movie okay. all the time. I, I had to get sense. William Wallace on my team. I'm I'm thrilled. But now I I I will admit I am. He's fighting. not even on my list. He, I, he's he's on mine. Uh, I will admit that you guys have great strategists, great minds. That Conquer, have conquerors, conquerors. Yeah, famous. I've got a warrior. Now I want the mind who okay. is also I don't know, has just an art to his war. 
Oh, he, uh, he's... I'm taking Sun Tzu. I wasn't sure where you guys would have him. Yeah. I thought maybe I could sneak him late. Oh, no. So he's not even... He's just standing in the corner. So, no, he, I'm, he's still he, a human. Yeah. He's still in the he's scrappy. He, he had to have been a great warrior. Yeah. yeah. You, You're taking an author. I am taking Sun Tzu. It's not just an author. He's taking the author. Yeah. Okay. Who, who wrote the book on war. Mike, uh, our job is to diminish his picks. I can, but it's a good pick. <laughs> the dude wrote a book called The Art of War that people still use today. Do you think that at least one person somewhere in a war had it in their hands while they were running across the field? And took an arrow in the chest. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> wait, wait, what do I do next? Save, what do I do? Save me, Quickly son. turning the pages on the battlefield. <laughs> when did that book come out? Uh, looks like, well... I don't know. <laughs> I th- let's, let's let's look that up. Yeah, Art of War release dates. <laughs> <laughs> was there a line? Come to- on, uh, pre-release. Well, there was a uh, sometime an be- ebook in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> sometime between 500 and 430 BC. Wow, that's a lot longer ago than I thought. Yeah, as they say. All right, so Mike, you are back on the clock. Mike oh, took okay. Uh, Jason took William Wallace and Sun Tzu. You have Genghis Khan. Yep. And I have one name that I really don't want you to take. Well, again, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Just to reiterate, <clears throat> I'm going to go with a man who has, uh, he does have a movie that has mm. fictionalized his mm. uh, his his success. Uh, well, not really a success by the end, but his exploits. Uh, but, I mean, he was the king of the Spartans, baby. Man, that's the name. Leonidas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Leon, do the sp- everyone knows the Spartans and their barbaric nature. Yeah, take like when you have kids, you're like, hey, go survive in the forest, and if you make it back, you can be a Spartan. You can live. That is so savage. I don't know if they actually did it, mm. but I choose to believe it. This is where the draft is turned. My Leonidas did. <laughs> yeah, this is where the draft. My is Leonidas rip kicked a dude in the chest down a big well. That was endless. <laughs> yeah, right. That was history. Also, Leonidas dug that hole. <laughs> this is where the draft is changing. Okay. Because uh, Leonidas would have been my next pick. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've got two in a row, right? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. I'm going to take David. The, guy, the statue guy? I'm taking David. Oh, oh the, David no, the, the Bible. The, okay. Goliath. okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So you got <laughs> yourself a sling. I'm like, I don't know. What, what did he do? <laughs> Was he real? The statue guy. The naked like- <laughs> David? I, I, we know that no. the statue is gigantic. We've talked about it. I am taking David <laughs> from the Bible. Okay. okay. With his sling, obviously overcoming long odds. Sure. He's going to be on my side yeah. with Alexander. And I'm going to combo him. Classic combo. With bro. Goliath? With Goliath? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The team Have you, you ever never... seen them join forces? Dude, if you had David and Goliath, that's... For one night only. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, former enemies, now friends. David and Goliath. Oh, man. Together at last. That's really funny. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because Goliath showed that he could get beaten by a boy with a sling. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. However... This is not. This is going to be a bit of a departure from where we've gone, but okay. I think it counts as a historical figure <laughs> because this is long enough. Like, okay. I, it's hard to know. All right, what you count. So be interesting. I'm taking. Was, was he real? That's he was a, real. Okay. He, he wasn't. He was real bad. I'm taking Jack the Ripper. Oh, oh that's all right. right. Yeah. yeah, that's a historical. Absolutely. Yeah, I just figured. You know, we go back long enough, and uh, you know, I he, mean, he did some. You're gonna have to murder in this coliseum. Yeah. I mean, so he, why not have one of the best? <laughs> he did his murdering under the cover of darkness. Right. Not That's out true. on Hope a battlefield. Hope the lights go out. You know? <laughs> well, I, I, as far as I know, what didn't that uh, Leonidas in that in three was it three thousand three hundred three hundred. <laughs> in that movie, wasn't there some eclipses? I mean, that's when Jack the Ripper will really be. Well, they yes they. They, oh, with the arrows. Yeah, you said our oh, arrows okay. will blot out the sun. It will fight in the shade. Look, I'm taking Jack the Ripper. <laughs> that is my pick. Jack the Ripper. Hey, that's. I respect Formerly it. known as Jack. <laughs> Later known as Jack the Ripper. Okay. I, like, I really got to Guys, no, people, there's too many Jacks. <laughs> yes. I really got to have a calling card. <laughs> yes. So I have the trifecta of Alexander the Great. <laughs> okay. David from the Bible and Jack <laughs> okay. the Ripper. All right. All also, right. I mean, it's King David eventually. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's fair. You're not drafting boy David? 
Uh, I feel like I have to. I mean, I mean, he's the one that won in battle. Yeah, you got to go, boy. You go, Do, King. I get well, them all. Actually, I get them all. King. He was. A, he yeah, was but a King David did not warrior. have the. He didn't have the aim. He anymore. was a great warrior. Yeah. There's there's a, there's a story that's much worse than Goliath in there. <laughs> yeah. But I all feel right. like you know. Well, speaking of of worse, uh, according to a quick Google search, uh. This person is credited with killing. It's a wide margin, so it's funny. But between <laughs> one to one million people, between forty to one hundred thousand people. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Oh, okay. okay. I, thought, I thought it was, I thought no, 40. It was 40, forty. It was somewhere Sorry. between forty and one hundred thousand people. Uh, we it's, can't count just, very just well. Tell me, when, tell me when to stop. <laughs> How many people have you killed? Okay, this 41, many, 42, this stop. Many? 43, Okay, forty-two. I thought it was one hundred thousand. Uh, he's also the uh the kind of like the the genesis the origin of the dracula story yes yes i know who it is his name is about as cool as it gets it's pretty good vlad the impaler oh yeah 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 that dude i mean he did some bad stuff much like jack you're called jack the ripper it's such a good the how well how does vlad do it vlad the impaler yeah what do you think he does he's gonna impale you (laughs) when we when we have our our guys announced at this coliseum 100 percent people will be like oh they got jack the ripper and then you counter it with an impaler yeah very s- strategic move wow hope I, you have, have yeah i know like i'm looking that. at my list i'm like man who's the uh who's who's got the savage nickname here i don't really <laughs> i don't really i got i got one nickname hmm uh, my nicknames aren't Frank, strong here. Frank the Meek. All right, what is my team right now? Right now I've got William Sun Wallace. Tzu and, and yeah. William Wallace. Okay. All right. Let's go to work here, fellas. I, I, this guy came back to me. I'm, I'm going. This is very William Wallace-esque. I'm not just looking for leaders. I'm looking for warriors. But I want a warrior leader. Someone who has been a gladiator <laughs> and fought in coliseums before give me spartacus okay yeah that's fair i mean he was real yeah, yeah spartacus all right i that's news to me i thought he was just in that Not, movie no there's a lot of extra lore and legend that i'm sure wasn't true but he was a real military leader and gladiator believe and did he ride the uh the the chariot the chariots i hope so he believe he led a how fast could he go he led a, a like a slave uprising Mm. Of yeah. some kind. I got to think that's what Gladiator was based on. Could be. Could be. We don't okay. know. We'll never know. All right, so I've got Spartacus William yeah. Wallace. Oh, and he did. Sun oh, Zoo. Jeremy just put it in there. He led a major slave uprising against the Roman Republic. All right. Was killed easily in battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part yeah. isn't true. All right. Also, so this- while crying, <laughs> <laughs> weeped, calling for his mother, and <laughs> playing the lute. <laughs> so... All right. Oh man. Okay, so I got one singing Spartacus. Spar- Spartacus. Not Spartacus. Sparty. Look, come on. You know his friends called him Sparty. Yeah, that's true. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. How <laughs> playing the loot. <laughs> okay, so I've got Spartacus William yeah. Wallace at Sun Tzu. I got yeah. one left and I've got man, I got a list of a lot of a lot of people that I would love to have on my team. But I think I am swayed by your your guys, the Ripper, the, your impaler. Guys, the impaler, and I'm gonna take and the, the great. And I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna take the Hun. Oh, Attila, oh, Attila the I'm Hun. I'm gonna take Attila the Hun, Att- <laughs> the the they barbarian were- ruler. I mean, you got a barbarian. This guy was a barbarian from the Huns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how did how did he kill you with uh, the Hun? <laughs> You give you Honey. a knee. Yeah. So Attila the Hun. <laughs> All right. It's a good pick. All right. So I'm back up. You are back up. You have your final pick. Sweet. Uh, so my team currently, let me pull this up real quick. Uh, Genghis Khan, Leonidas, Vlad the Impaler. All right. Uh, I will go. This is going to be a brutal coliseum. It, it really is. Just uh, wait till I get done with my next pick. Oh, that's exciting. Um, oh, man, I've got a couple couple that I want to get. I'm I'm going to go this direction. Uh, I think she got burned at the at the stake eventually. But, yeah. Uh, but, you know, okay, 
I'm thinking Joan of Arc. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She's I mean, on the list. Like inspiring. Like the lady's just so ba that she's out there fighting back at a time where you're like, no, you, you can't fight. It's and she's crazy. Only men. She's yeah. crazy. She goes. And Joan of Arc is just dominating. Very good pick. All right. Love it. All right. So you have uh, French. Code. Oh, <laughs> Jeremy, you had all these ready. I did. A French heroine and military leader, Joan was known for her inspirational leadership and prowess in combat during the Hundred Years' War. Was she eventually burned at the stake? Am I remembering that right? I'll find I, out. The, the I past, think that I, the past is tough. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, man, I really do that think that's even right. that option. is correct. May thirtieth, fourteen thirty-one. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. That's brutal. All right, um, that's what it took to to take her out, though. That's how awesome she was. She survived a hundred years of war. I don't think she, she survived she, all one hundred. Nah, she hundred. She survived two of the stakes. Took the third. All right. Uh, it's tough because we all have pretty good lists, huh? We mm -hmm. have longer lists. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm going to go with, look, you ain't your Huckleberry. I'm taking Doc oh. I'm taking Doc oh. Holiday. Okay. Wow. I'm oh. taking Doc Holiday. I tried to think back okay. to somebody the most famous in the Wild West, and it was him or Wyatt I, Earp. I have Davy Crockett on my list. I have, yeah, Davey, I have yeah. Davy Crockett on my list. But you only because he's the king of the wild frontier. Davy Crockett, we, we, I brought this name up earlier when I was asking people. Him and Daniel Boone are synonymous in my mind. Oh, yeah, they're the same person. They're the same person, right? <laughs> those, well, are, those are different people? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I went with Doc Holliday for my final pick, but I would love to go through some of our oh, um, yeah. oh, sure. honorable mentions. Uh, I had written the Red Baron, <laughs> the fighter, oh, you, you the fighter a, pilot. <laughs> you, you don't get a jet. That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah. Although you guys have stretched the Coliseum at times. And then I had Sitting Bull oh, as that's well. Good okay. That's yeah. good. Was that the end of yours? Uh, yeah, of the good the, ones? Al Capone. Okay. So you were really hoping you get to come in with weapons. Yeah. I did try to work that in there. Yeah. Okay. All Which right. Doc Holliday does. Uh well if he has weapons and we don't then <laughs> no you get weapons you get whatever your wheel whatever you keep on you man I you think Jack the Ripper was much without his weapons should have drafted Theodore Roosevelt <laughs> give me the bear gun um, that could have been a good pick I've, I've, I've got I, him on my list did you have I, Teddy on the list I do he's yeah. he's he's second in line behind Blackbeard the pirate you know was that real he was real he, he was, was nice real. yeah I got Abraham Lincoln Abe Lincoln was literally the first name on my list See, I would have gone George Washington over Lincoln oh but, the but length. Like military valor it, no but it's not military it's the at least the American tall tale he was a wrestler he was right? a wrestler yeah. yeah and like known yeah, to be had that mask known to, <laughs> it was apparently incredibly strong can't wrestle the Delaware River I'm just saying <laughs> I got uh, Ragnar Lothbrok, which is that's, a little that's made some up. kind of Viking. Yeah, he's a Viking. Okay, yeah. uh, awesome. If you if you watch Vikings, you'd be like, he should be the, he should be the number one okay. pick. Um, I've got uh, Nikola Tesla, just in case he could. I had Da Vinci on my list. <laughs> yeah, find just, a way to just in keep. case. And my favorite one, the one that I I kind of wish I paired with Sun Tzu, because I feel like Sun Tzu's mind and this guy's abilities, we could do some stuff. If I got my other two warriors. Harry Houdini. Dude, Houdini's on my list, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a, wow. That's crazy. I, I mean, figured if, if he can get out of yeah, things. Try to, find, try, try to find him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? How many people when they're, they're the, I just love the thought of you got four warriors from history, and then you guys are like, the magician. <laughs> yeah. The escape artist. Well, maybe they chain him up, and they think this is no problem. We'll hold him hostage, and then- Poof. Where's where did Harry go? Where'd That's go? like drafting. Uh, who's the famous um, motorcyclist that jumps? Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. <laughs> it's the same to me. All right. He survived so much. <laughs> good. good. Do, it, do it one more time, Knievel. <laughs> good draft, Knievel, as they, his friends called him. What did we learn today? I learned people love snot. It's disgusting. The poll right now. We'll call it finished. It's still going. It's at two thousand one hundred forty-four votes. Fifty-two forty-eight. Stop sneeze, but till still too many people loving giant snot balls. I I learned that there are regular islands and there are fancy yeah. islands, and I learned that I have like actual real deep seated hatred for the people who are spoiling movies out there. Yeah, as you, you know should. what? Right to jail. <laughs> Straight to jail. <laughs> right to jail. All right, thank you for joining us. Back with another one next week. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, 
check out spitballerspod.com.